Welcome to Neutropenic Plaza. Uh, I mean, fever. As you'll see in this sketch, we're referring to a special population of patients who are at extremely high risk of infection with no immune system to fight back. We'll review all your standard risk factors and work up to make sure your patient doesn't get taken hostage by pathogens while their defenses are down. It's Christmas Eve and all Detective Lieutenant John McFlame wanted to do was attend a party at Neutropenic Plaza. Unfortunately, a group of terrorists have taken the building by storm and all first responders haven't made it on time. It even looks like our Detective Lieutenant has been thwarted from responding by a giant flame ball. The definition of neutropenic fever is neutropenia and a fever, specifically defined as a single oral temperature of greater than or equal to 38.3 degrees Celsius or a temperature of greater than or equal to 38 degrees Celsius that lasts for over one hour. We'll symbolize neutropenic fever as falling first responder John McFlame next to a giant explosion. Fever may be the only sign of an infection in a neutropenic patient because the body cannot mount a full immune response. This is a medical emergency. It is extremely important to start treatment once you suspect neutropenic fever to prevent any life-threatening complications. The mortality rate with neutropenic fever is up to 11% and as high as 50% if the patient develops septic shock. The absolute neutrophil count, which we'll call ANC, is calculated by multiplying the total white blood cell count by the percentage of segmented neutrophils and percentage of bands. Another way to think about this is the percentage of mature and immature neutrophils. Neutrophils are especially important as the body's defense against bacterial and fungal infections. The lower the number of neutrophils and the longer a patient goes with this low count, the higher the risk of getting infected with one of these organisms. Neutropenia is defined as an ANC of less than 1,500 or less than 1,000 cells per microliter, and severe neutropenia is an ANC of less than 500. An ANC of less than 500 or neutropenia greater than 7 days puts patients at an even higher risk for infection.